Listen, I wasn't even planning to make this video today, but after what I just found on my fire stick, I had to stop everything and hit record. There's a secret app out there that basically turns your fire stick into a supercharged TV monster. I'm talking unlimited movies, nonstop sports, pay-per-view fights, and worldwide channels that you didn't even know existed. And the craziest part? You don't pay a single cent for it. Zero. If you want your Fire Stick to do things Amazon never tells you about, keep watching. I'm going to demonstrate exactly how to install it and set it up from start to finish. Before we start, if you're thinking about buying a Fire Stick or Google TV streamer, make sure to check out the links in the description. I found some amazing deals exclusively for you down there. To begin, go to your home screen and find the magnifying glass symbol. Click down, then select the center button on your remote. A keyboard interface will show, so type Downloader. You'll see it show up in the suggestion dropdown. Move down, select it, and hit the middle button. This will take you to the bright orange application we need. Hit the center button and you'll be taken to the apps page. Hit the center button once more and the download will begin. This may take a few moments, just a bit of patience is needed. Based on your internet speed, it might be extremely fast. Once it displays Launch Now, hit the Home button on your remote. Next, we must go to your Amazon Fire Sticks settings to change one important setting. The simplest method is to navigate completely to the right on your main display. A menu will show at the bottom. Scroll downward. We're looking for My Fire TV. Perhaps yours shows My Device? Regardless of the title or position, that's what we need to click. After selecting, my display might look slightly different since I've already enabled developer options. If this doesn't show on your display, no worries. Simply go up and click About. Then, with your Fire Stick or Fire TV selected, click the center button. Nine times, a notification will show stating, Congratulations, you are now a developer. When you see that, click the back button and voila. Developer options will now show right there in the menu. Now let's go to developer options together. The initial option is ADB debugging. Click the center button once to turn it on. A small dialog might show. Just move down and click allow. Next, select install unknown apps. You'll notice downloader in the list. Simply move down to downloader. Then click the center button once to turn it on. If you have an older Fire Stick, just turn on apps from unknown sources. With everything set up, click the home button on your remote. You're doing fantastic. Time to locate that recently installed downloader app. The optimal way to view all your applications is to navigate nearly to the end and click the icon with three squares and a plus symbol. This shows every app you own. The most recent ones always show at the very bottom. Let's open Downloader together. A small dialog might show. Just click the center button to close it. This application lets you visit virtually any website. To do this, click the center button twice. A keyboard will show, letting you type the web address. I'm taking you to an exclusive app store, especially for my viewers and subscribers. I've put an effort to find the finest and most current apps for this platform. All I ask for this work of keeping the apps current, making this video, and replying to your questions is for you to click that subscribe button. It's your method of showing appreciation. And a massive thank you to all my existing followers. You're truly amazing. Now that you're part of the family, go ahead and type this code. After you've properly typed the code, highlight and click Go. If you notice a connection error or a check link notification, it means your connection is being restricted. Simply turn on your VPN or change its location, and that should fix the issue. You'll notice a small red circle on my display. You might also notice a dialog box. If this dialog shows, just move the red circle onto that black box and click the center button. Otherwise, the platform will load automatically. Let's allow it time to complete. The web page is now loaded. This platform is amazing. 
you gain access to over 300 exclusive applications. My top applications are always marked with a top apps label. The first thing you'll want to do here is click the menu button on your remote, the one with three horizontal lines. A menu will show, move down and confirm add current page to favorites. Then click save. Now you'll never need to type that code again. You can simply open Downloader, select on Favorites in the left menu, and then click this platform. Following that, click the Menu button again and move down to Full Screen Mode. Select to confirm. Now you have an intuitive interface. Move down. It's absolutely, absolutely crucial to have a VPN. Without one, your IP address will be visible right here. It's exposed. If you scroll further, you'll find Search and Filters. Here, you can select any category and only applications from that category will show. This makes finding apps effortless. Each application also has its own description. I'll show how to install my top suggested apps. Now, move down. The first application I want you to get is IP Vanish, marked with a top app badge number one. It's my primary selection for keeping everyone protected and private while using these applications. Some individuals have difficulty downloading apps because their internet provider restricts them. With IP Vanish, you stay secure and circumvent those limitations your internet company imposes on you. To download IP Vanish VPN, just position your cursor on it and click the center button. You'll land on a new page with the description and download button. To ensure you always get the latest version, I prefer to click the home button to return to the Fire Stick's main screen then find the magnifying glass icon and move down. Now click the search bar and when the keyboard shows type IP Vanish. You'll probably notice it in suggestions. Move down, highlight it and click the center button. On this page, select the app from the list. You'll then be taken to this screen and in this menu, click the center button to start the installation. Give it a minute or two. Once it's installed, click the center button to open it. Now you can sign in. Don't have an account yet? I'll make it straightforward for you to get one so you can browse without any concerns and unlock all those fantastic applications. First, grab your phone or computer and launch your web browser. Go to the website displayed on your screen now. You can also point your camera at the QR code in the corner to go directly there. I'll also put the website link in the description and comments below. Once on the IP Vanish website, pick your plan. You can even select just one month to test it and see the difference. Seriously, everyone, definitely get a package. It's extremely important. After you purchase it, they'll send an email with your username and password. Once you have that, your Fire Stick will be safe and secure. Now log into the IP Vanish app and click Connect. I also want to demonstrate a few settings. Click the gear icon in the IP Vanish app. A menu will appear. I've highlighted Connect on Android Startup. If I click the center button and turn this on, you won't need to manually turn your VPN on every single time you power up. The VPN connects automatically, so your movie watching will be uninterrupted. It handles everything for you. How brilliant is that? All right, now that we're secure, let's get some awesome applications. Click the Home button and return to your app list. Click the icon with the three boxes and the plus sign and open the Downloader app again. Let's re-enter full screen mode by clicking the menu button and selecting full screen. If you're still on the VPN page, just click the return button once or twice to get back to all the applications. Now I'll demonstrate the next four essential apps for free movies, TV series, sports, and live TV. You'll find four more apps below the categories, each with a top apps badge and a star. It helps to read their descriptions carefully to understand exactly what each application does. Here's the first one, an application with top app badge number two for live TV, pay-per-view, adult content, and by far my favorite and most recommended application. Position your cursor on it, then click the center button. You'll go to a page with its description, move down and click download. It will begin and we'll wait for it to reach 100%. This might take a moment, if your remote goes missing, the Fire TV app on your phone works as an excellent backup. Afterward, you'll be on this screen. Slide over and click Install. Give it a moment. 
Once it's completed, slide over and click Done. Selecting Done brings us back to the screen. Slide over, click Delete, and again, slide over and click Delete. This brings us back to the store. First, re-enter Full Screen Mode. Click the Menu button and select Full Screen Mode. Then click the Return button once or twice and you'll be back on the download page. Let's continue. Now, here's another application with Top App Badge number 3 for all your sports content. Position the cursor on it, then click the Center button. You'll arrive at this page with a description. Move down and click Download. The download will begin. Did you know that the Fire TV Stick 4K Max isn't only for streaming? It can also be used for cloud gaming with Xbox Game Pass. What a versatile little device. Then you'll be brought here. Slide over and click Install. Once it's finished, slide over and click Done. And again, slide over, click Delete. And again, slide over and click Delete. This brings us back to the store. Once more, enter full screen mode, then click the return button once or twice. And we're back. Now, check this out. Here's another application with that top apps badge number four for all your on-demand content. Position the cursor on it, then click the center button. You'll arrive at this page. Move down and click download. The download begins. And by the way, did you know that the Fire Stick's operating system called Fire OS is built on Google's Android? So even though they're different, they're kind of like distant relatives. Then you'll be here. Slide over and click Install. Once it's complete, move and click Done. Now move and click Delete. And again, move and click Delete. We're back in the store. Enter full screen mode, then click the return button once or twice and you'll be back on the screen. Now, some applications in my store need a separate player to work correctly. The application you just installed for movies and TV shows is one of those. Its title even mentions needing this other player app. It might seem a bit confusing right now, but when you read its description or use the applications, it will make complete sense, I promise. So let's download that necessary app player now. You'll find an application that is the required player with the top apps badge number five. Position your cursor on it, then click the center button. You'll go to this page. Move down and click download. The process will begin. This might take a moment, one final wait. If you want, tell me in the comments what you like to do while downloads are happening. I'd love to know. Then you'll be here. Last time folks, slide over and click install. Give it a moment. Once it's finished, slide over and click Done. Now click Delete. And again, slide over and click Delete. Folks, it's that simple. We've installed four incredible applications. There are over 300 available on this platform, so don't feel restricted to just these examples. My favorite applications are clearly marked with the Top Apps badge. Explore the store and download as many applications as you wish. They are all free, so grab every single one if your device has the storage. But always, always remember to keep your VPN active. Some applications might be blocked otherwise. Now that you've downloaded everything you want, click the Home button. I want to find all those applications we just installed. As you remember from earlier, just click the icon with three squares and a plus sign this displays all your applications, and the newest ones are at the very bottom. So, highlight one of those new applications, then click the three-line button on your remote. A menu will pop up. Click Move to Front. You'll see the application move from the bottom to the top. Click the Home button here. From your home screen where you always start, you'll have easy access to those applications. You won't have to go searching at all. How convenient is that? Now everyone, we've successfully downloaded some truly incredible applications for free movies, TV series, sports, live TV, and pay-per-view. Before you open any of those applications, I strongly, strongly recommend that you turn your VPN on first. Please promise me you will.
Folks, I want to express my sincere gratitude to all my followers. Y your support means everything to me and helps me tremendously. I can't thank you enough for taking the time to help me reach my goals. I look forward to your comments and seeing you very soon in the next video.